Hi guys, I got a request from somebody to make an alarm that goes off when somebody sits on your bicycle. And my reply was the easiest thing to do, and the cheapest, would be to use one of those personal alarms that you can buy. I've seen them on eBay and Amazon for four or five pounds. This one came from Poundland and cost me a pound. And I will show you how we can use it as an alarm. The first thing we'll do is see how it works normally. And then we'll see what we can do to modify it. It says here we need three LR44 batteries. find out. It looks like it's got batteries in there already because it's got a torch on it. So I assume that means there's no on off switch. The way it works You just pull that out. So the quickest and easiest way to make this work would be to put a little bit of string on that or fishing line, something clear that's not easily seen. Attach that under the seat of your bicycle and run the fishing line to the nearest post or something so that as soon as somebody tries to take your bicycle away Off. If you want to make it a bit cleverer than that, we can take it apart and we can intercept the switch or connector that makes it work and rig up some sort of um, activator, switch, whatever you want to call it, that works when you sit on it. That's the connectors. So all we need to do is have a little push button that you fit under the seat somewhere that makes contact with those two points. I'll just do that in close-up so we can see it better. Close-up, so it's these contacts just here. When you pull that peg out, it allows the contacts to come together. To put a switch across these two terminals, I shall desolder the existing one and take that out. And then use any of these switches to do the job. These are all just simple push switches. And you would have to choose one to suit whatever application you're going to use it for. They all do the same thing. They're momentary push switches. And what you want to do is arrange some sort of lever so that perhaps when somebody sits down on the seat it pushes the lever enough to activate one of these buttons. And that would set the alarm off. It might be better to use a switch that is what they call a toggle switch, so that when you press it, it stays operated. Because then, when somebody sits on the saddle, the alarm goes off and stays operated until somebody finds the switch and deactivates it. 
with this idea, once you've pulled it out, unless you can find this to push it back in again, it will keep operating. So cover your ears a second. Without that, you can't turn it off. If you didn't hear what I said, without that peg, you can't turn it off. Whereas with this idea, as soon as they get back off the saddle, the alarm will stop again. So it just depends what you want it to do. I'm going to make the simple one that while you sit on it, the alarm goes off. When you get off, the alarm stops. There we are. Job done, or at least for demonstration purposes. So I've soldered a pair of wires to where the peg connections are. That, that wire or pair of wires comes round to the switch. So this is our pretend bicycle seat. I've left it all in clear plastic just so you can see what's going on. There's nothing clever about it. You just have to rig up whatever suits your purposes. So if anybody sits on the seat, as simple as that. Like I said, you could use any type of switch to do that for you. I've just used that little one there for demonstration purposes. So I've put a bit of clear plastic over it so you can actually see what happens. But I don't have a bicycle seat so I can't rig one up to a bicycle seat to make it work. Obviously you put the cover back on here and tuck it away somewhere out of sight. But that's it. Job done.